Exploring the Economic Mobility Pathways Pilot, EMPP, a new avenue for skilled refugees. Welcome back to Canada Chronicles. Today, we're exploring the Economic Mobility Pathways Pilot, a groundbreaking Canadian initiative that helps skilled refugees and displaced individuals secure a stable and prosperous future while addressing labor shortages by providing Canadian employers access to a diverse and talented workforce. We'll cover the program's objectives, eligibility criteria, application process, and the myriad benefits it offers. If you're looking for a pathway to a new life in Canada, this video is for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the latest updates on immigration news and regulations. Let's dive in. The Economic Mobility Pathways Pilot, EMPP, is a pioneering initiative by the Canadian government aimed at facilitating the immigration of skilled refugees and displaced individuals through economic pathways. This program provides opportunities for a stable and prosperous future in Canada while assisting Canadian employers in accessing a new pool of talented and skilled workers. This video delves into the details of the EMPP, exploring its objectives, eligibility criteria, application process, and the benefits it offers to both immigrants and the Canadian economy. Objectives of the EMPP The EMPP was created with a dual purpose. Firstly, it seeks to aid skilled refugees and displaced persons in finding a permanent and secure livelihood in Canada. By leveraging their existing skills and qualifications, these individuals can contribute significantly to the Canadian workforce and economy. Secondly, the program addresses labor shortages in Canada by providing employers with access to a diverse and highly skilled pool of candidates. This symbiotic relationship ensures that both the refugees and the Canadian economy benefit from the initiative. Eligibility Criteria To be eligible for the EMPP, applicants must meet several criteria. 1. Work Experience Applicants must have relevant work experience in their field of expertise. This experience demonstrates their capability and readiness to contribute to the Canadian workforce. 2. Education. A minimum level of education is required to ensure that applicants possess the necessary knowledge and skills for their respective professions. 3. Language proficiency. Proficiency in either English or French is mandatory. This requirement ensures that applicants can effectively communicate and integrate into Canadian society. 4. Economic Programs. Applicants must qualify for one of Canada's existing economic immigration programs. These include the Federal Skilled Worker Program, the Federal Skilled Trades Program, the Canadian Experience Class, or the Provincial Nominee Program. The EMPP is designed to be flexible, allowing for some exemptions and accommodations to make it easier for refugees to meet these criteria. For instance, the program may accept alternative documents or provide additional support to help refugees demonstrate their qualifications. Application Process The application process for the EMPP involves several steps. 1. Initial Assessment Potential applicants undergo an initial assessment to determine their eligibility. This step ensures that only those who meet the basic criteria proceed with the application. 2. Documentation Applicants must gather and submit various documents, including proof of work experience, educational qualifications, and language proficiency. The EMPP offers assistance in obtaining and verifying these documents, recognizing the challenges faced by refugees in securing official paperwork. 3. Program Selection Based on their qualifications and preferences, applicants are matched with one of Canada's economic immigration programs. This step is crucial as it determines the specific pathway through which they will immigrate to Canada. 4. Job Offer, Optional While a job offer is not mandatory, having one can significantly enhance an applicant's chances of success. The EMPP works with Canadian employers to help match applicants with suitable job opportunities. 5. Application Submission Once all the required documents are in place, applicants submit their application for processing. This step includes paying any necessary fees and completing medical and security checks. 6. Decision and Arrival Upon approval, applicants receive confirmation of their permanent residency status. They can then make arrangements to travel to Canada and begin their new life. Benefits of the EMPP The EMPP offers numerous benefits to both the applicants and Canadian employers. 1. For Refugees Stability and Security The program provides a pathway to permanent residency, offering refugees a chance for a stable and secure future. Economic Opportunities By aligning their skills with job opportunities in Canada, refugees can achieve financial independence and contribute to the economy. Support Services The EMPP offers various support services, including assistance with documentation, language training, and integration support. 2. For Canadian Employers Access to Talent 
employers gain access to a diverse pool of skilled workers, helping to address labor shortages in various industries. Economic growth. By integrating skilled refugees into the workforce, the EMPP contributes to overall economic growth and development. Corporate social responsibility. Participating in the EMPP allows employers to demonstrate their commitment to social responsibility and diversity. Since its inception, the EMPP has witnessed numerous success stories, showcasing the positive impact of the program. Skilled refugees who have immigrated through the EMPP have found employment in various sectors, including healthcare, technology, and trades. Their contributions have not only enriched their own lives but have also strengthened the Canadian economy and society. Future Prospects The Canadian government continues to expand and improve the EMPP, ensuring that more refugees can benefit from this initiative. Future plans include increasing the number of participating employers, enhancing support services, and exploring additional economic pathways. By continually evolving the program, Canada reaffirms its commitment to humanitarian efforts while simultaneously addressing its economic needs. EMPP Streams and Specific Requirements The EMPP encompasses several streams, including the No Job Offer Stream and the Regional EMPP. Each stream has specific requirements. No Job Offer Stream Applicants must have at least one year of full-time, paid work experience in a TER 0, 1, 2, or 3 job within the last three years. They must also meet the language requirements of at least CLB 7 in each language ability and have a Canadian secondary school credential or a foreign equivalent with an ECA issued within the last five years. Additionally, applicants need to show they have sufficient settlement funds to support their family in Canada. Regional EMPP Applicants must be eligible for regional economic programs like the Atlantic Immigration Program, AIP, the Provincial Nominee Program, PNP, or the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, RNIP. They must meet language, education, and job training requirements and have a job offer from a Canadian employer. Specific exemptions apply to the AIP, such as no need for an ECA and flexible work experience criteria. The EMPP stands as a testament to Canada's innovative approach to immigration and refugee support. By creating a pathway for skilled refugees and displaced individuals to immigrate through economic programs, the EMPP not only offers hope and opportunities to those in need but also strengthens the Canadian workforce and economy. As the program continues to evolve and expand, it promises to remain a beacon of hope and a model for other countries to follow. Thanks for tuning into Canada Chronicles. We hope you found our deep dive into the EMPP informative and inspiring. If you think the EMPP could be your ticket to a new life in Canada, don't hesitate to take the next steps and apply. Remember, Canada is always looking for skilled and talented individuals like you. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest immigration news and regulations. Share this video with anyone who might benefit, and let's build a community of well-informed future Canadians. Until next time, stay hopeful and stay informed.